What is going on, guys? Send me one more from send me one more production here back within the top ten list for you all today. Uh, and this kind of my series that I'm doing where last guy that did up on my top ten worst Disney Channel shows and I talk about my top ten best Disney Channel sitcoms. And now I'm gonna do the video that I really want to talk about. It's time about my top ten best Disney Channel animated shows. And I decided to do two separate lists between sitcoms and animated shows, because honestly, like eight or nine of these shows probably were made the list and I think that would be bad for the sitcom, so I decided to include it because while well, sitcoms usually are very hit or miss when it comes to Disney Channel, when it comes to their animated stuff, they knock it out of the fucking park like nine times out of ten. Like, I can't usually do have a dog honey one that was on my worst list, but when nine times out of ten, they would have hit after hit after hit after hit after hit. A lot of the shows I still be watching still go back to finally to this very day, which Honestly, made this list incredibly difficult to do, but but I've always wanted to talk about these shows on this list. Again, they had most of these shows on my original list, and of course, there have been a few other shows that have been released since then. So this definitely, yeah, definitely one of the hardest shows I've done because there are so many great shows that I wanted to put on this list. Like there are so many incredible shows that this is shown, at least in terms of animation front. So as always, my personal opinion, my personal preference. But I would definitely love to know your favorite Disney show animated shows down below in the comment section but of course as always before we get to the actual you know top 10 let's talk to the honorable mentions again there are so many shows i could have put on this list again a lot of these shows are uh, as well, i would still be fantastic honestly but like, unfortunately first up we have leo and stitch the series show i feel like how good it was until i watched a few episodes date the barbarian what show was one season it's a show that i still have fond memories of Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. People remember that show, honestly. I've been thinking about that show recently, honestly. House of Mouse. I mean, it's just a short, but no, it still has a lot of good moments than the list. Star Wars Rebels. A show that I didn't really love what I expected. It didn't got the best for it, but got better as it went along. Star for Force of Evil. I did just enough quality in the first two seasons. So it looks like it kind of going really down here the last two seasons. Like, I think there's still enough quality while I'm seeing makes this list. Miles Murphy Law, a show I actually enjoyed a lot more than I expected, honestly. I'm not sure. I think people don't like the show, but I've always loved it. Pen Zero, Part Time Hero, one of the more underrated shows that this show has done. And the two shows that unfortunately I hate to put on the list The Owl House, yes, I did watch The Owl House, and I'm sure a lot of people are not going to be happy with that show not be on this list. But I still like the show nonetheless. And Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure, which I did finally watch, honestly, when I. Which I did end up on watching when I rewatched a lot of these, you know, shows, and it was actually a movie that was in the beyond on there that I decided to watch, so I decided to watch the whole show, and it's actually pretty great, actually. Yeah, it just barely, barely missed my list. But yeah, that's only our mentions, so let's get to the actual top 10. Top 10 best Disney Channel anime shows, and all these shows are top tier, just like fine. All 10 shows are absolute top tier. But anyways, carrying on list of number 10 again. It was definitely between this show and Rapunzel's Thing Adventure and even the Owl House at my number 10 spot. But at my number 10, I decided to go with American Dragon Jake Long. And again, some of these shows I ended up watching a few of these episodes. So honestly, I didn't watch the entire shows because I was in my and then all and I have other shows that we watch. So I decided to watch some episodes because I remember the shows very fondly. I, I watch shows constantly. So I do remember very fondly, and Jake Long, I totally forgot how good the show is, and I was like, also good thing about a lot of these Disney Channel shows is that a lot of them actually aged particularly well, actually, and so the fact that I think something actually got better with time, and Jake Long is one of those shows. American Dragon, Jake Long, which also has one of the most theme songs out there. Out there. But the image is pretty well on Slate, the dragon stuff is pretty well done, it actually goes for a great story focused direction, I think this is when it kind of started going a little more towards then this show shows. So then it goes for some really interesting emotional stuff throughout the season and you get some pretty emotional moments. Find out with some fantastic set pieces, some pretty likable characters, some great humor. I got how hilarious this show could be at times, but also great back and forth and great emotional stuff between a lot of these characters. And in fact, this is one of number 10 should show you how great the other shows are on this list. But now at number 9, we got definitely a more simple show, but a show I always hold very fondly that is The Proud Family. Again, a show that's almost simple, well, obviously it's one of those like, family-oriented shows that shows for The Proud Family, and they're back and forth and everything, but I always have a fondness for the show, and I always have a great time coming back to it. 
uh, to again the characters are charming and likable goes through some very actually real touching situations a lot of shows on just one do a time of course you know but how to touch by you know paying playing football and all that stuff and some um, actual touch that actually are still real to this day like i totally forgot that stuff even happened in this show actually but it makes it very real and personal why not just get the great charming humor that you're expecting mom sure has always been a, a top tier com comedy character in my opinion but it makes it very homey stuff as well. Also, let you know, as of filming right now, I actually have not seen the sequel series, actually. Have I seen it? Uh, I don't think I've ever really seen the sequel series because I've heard that, but not so great things about it, honestly. But, but I might get to, I might watch it at some point, honestly. But, but, but I, don't, I don't think you have to come close to touching the greatness that is the original. That just has so many heartwarming moments and some great animation that still holds very well. And just a film that just makes you smile and just makes you laugh. Now at number eight again, the fact that I had to put the show at number eight again should tell you how great the other shows on this game. It wasn't easy, but at number eight, we have Kim Possible. Kim Possible number eight on this list. Yeah, I think I'm marriage was I think I had Kim Possible a lot higher on, on, on my list, but again, it was not easy to put just number eight. But again, Kim Possible like of all the shows on this list, Kim Possible's definition of a show that its probably has aged has aged the most honestly. Yeah, like it's one of the shows that gets better with time, honestly. I mean, it's a show about also on basic aging while trying to have a normal life, but while that stuff's kind of, you know, been done, done now, Kim Possible always does it in a more realistic and fun way. And does it in a more unique way. And Kim Possible's a likable character, Ron Stop was one of the most hilarious characters of all time, one of the most charming characters in any Disney Channel show, honestly. The villains are really well done, the comedic timing is always great, the action is great. And when it goes to very emotional moments, it actually hits, hits them pretty well, actually, and you can't help but smile. Again, it has a lot of the same pros I had mentioned in the previous two shows, with the emotion and the heart one once again. So why this show is number eight should really tell you something. But anyways, now at number seven, we actually have probably the newest show on this list that ended up making the top ten. And it's going to show you that, yeah, this is show I can build it, and that is the... Uh, and I believe this is the most recent show on this list, and that is Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Yes, this show ended up making the top 10. I did actually watch the season 2 very recently, and my god, this show deliver. Uh, this show is actually also based on a Marvel probably, if I remember correctly, but man, it, it, it's a show that we're better show that's ended up being very generic. It ends up touching a lot of very touching moments, some very real moments, honestly, that you wouldn't expect this channel to do. But I managed to deliver and has a lot of the same pros I mentioned previously. Very likable characters, very great action set pieces, very touching moments, very hilarious moments, a very weird bond between our two main leads, and having some easily the most amazing animation that they have ever done. Along with some incredible music as well. That's all about I'm curious everyone still, but it's one of those shows that I would say just check it out. It's definitely a worth watch. Definitely one of the probably the best show this channel has done in the since of course one one of a couple of these shows but it's definitely the best show they've done in a long time and proof that they can't once it comes over here miss to the animation they always kill it now at number six we get to probably the most underappreciated show on this list and this was a show that well, unfortunately got canceled on its prime but it's a show i have always had a soft spot for and that is wonder over yonder and this show had no right being as good as it is um, so again, this show, well in the comments that we have seen some stuff before what I always love about this channel is that while they may, may always touch on familiar aspects and familiar themes, it's the way they always execute everything, it's the way they always handle these certain moments and characters, and it makes them actually stand out. And Wanda or Beyond is the perfect example. And it's only having two seasons, fortunately, because again, it's one of the shows that got, unfortunately got cancelled. <laughs> and so you get a lot of great character moments. Again, the two leads are fantastic, and Lord here is one of the most hilarious villains. Like, it always delivers. It comes like when it comes to comedic villains, this show always delivers. Of course, we get a couple of those characters later on this list, but when it comes to the villains, they seem to always knock it out of the park. When it comes to villains, especially on the comedic level, and you get a top tier comedic villain, a Lord Hater here, and the mains himself are hilarious as well. The animation is breathtaking. Their humor is fantastic. The incredible back and forth between all the characters, the situations they end up getting themselves into. And one of the characters I relate to so much as characters is kind of like me in a way. And, and, and like most of your shows, they try, they try to go for more story focused direction in season 2, delivering a new interesting villain that appeases Lord Hater. And 
And I'm kind of, it's, it's fortunate, and, and I'm, I wish we could kind of see what you're actually going to with that story direction. It's funny that they're going to something like grand and amazing, but of course, they're going to cut short. But yeah, I'd still recommend watching one though beyond. Now, the top five people, and number five gets you probably the most surprising show on this list, and that is DuckTales 2017. Life is like a hurricane. Now I'm someone that actually never watched the original DuckTales growing up. Yeah, I know. If I better watch Disney Channel Live, I never watched the original DuckTales. Honestly, I, but I did watch some episodes when I first watched it, and it, this, and it feels like one of those shows that I probably would enjoy more. Like, like, I feel like it's one of those shows that I probably would enjoy more when it came out, honestly. But, this is definitely the definition of a reboot done right, where it does fix a lot, some issues with the original show that people have where you and you are not more like you tell like who's who now they're not like the same characters honestly and you got awesome incredible animation some again great story direction great emotional moments like mo like scenes that really just bring murphy in my head honestly and, and just great comedic characters all around again again pretty much every positive i have about those shows i have yeah, again great story moments great horror film moments Great comedic moments, especially with the villains. But you know, having some actual great stakes. I think my only real negative is I don't think it ends the best, honestly, which definitely the big one I still should put on top of it. I don't think it has the best series finale, especially with that twist. But I say it does enough greatness with the charm of the characters and the rewatch factor that I end up having to put the show and top five. It's a show that I've come back to constantly, a show that makes me smile and laugh constantly. And again, it's the definition of a reboot done right. I don't think anyone's looking forward to this show, honestly, if I remember correctly, but the fact that it ended up being as good as it was really should tell you something. But now, and you can find yourself sitting at my number four, and my number four is Big City Greens. Okay, you feel like everything I have for my number five, pretty much to Big City Greens. Well, again, charm, heart, again, pretty much all the positives I have about all the shows on the sleds, you can say are Big City Greens. Again, having a lot, and I'm sure that feels like it should be just your typical family show where people are acting in trouble and everything, but it managed to have a really emotional core to it, a really emotional story to it. So those of you that you want to expect, having characters actually feel like they're actually learning their lessons and actually are growing as people. Great family dynamics, great emotional moments, great real moments, and really grounded moments, and, and having an incredible villain as well. Yeah, they also had a movie that came out earlier this year that actually ended up being pretty good, actually. So as a show that I feel like it's going to stick around for a while, and I'm not, I don't remember if there any other episodes that came out recently, and again, because I, I don't have cable, I never really know, but... Oh well, this show just showed so much heart and care, and the, and the, the villain Chip here is one of the best villains the Disney Channel they have done, so... Yeah. It's also a show I'm going back to a while as well, and a show that I always laugh and smile. Along with having... Also, I'm not reading about a lot of these shows that not only have great main characters, they always have great supporting characters, like... They always manage to always deliver when it comes to the supporting characters, where they appear very frequently, they appear, where they appear very frequently, but sometimes even have their own episodes and their own moments. Like, you get a lot of great abstract and moments in this moments, and when it comes to the supporting characters, and some of you have their own episodes, and some end up delivering. Like, that's what a lot of these shows always have like the same same like huge positives that make them so great. But obviously, they're able to stand out on that aspect. But man. But man, basically, Green's main stuff with the supporting characters, and you can try the same thing with my number three as well. When are in top three, and, and these, this is our show. I also was one member we watched show, and that is Phineas and Ferb. And the interesting thing about Phineas and Ferb is a show. Really, majority of episodes are pretty much the same. Where basically, obviously, Candace tries to burst whatever infection Phineas and Ferb does. Doctor Doofus Schmertz ends up having infection, and when and Phineas and Ferb's Pet platypus, pet platypus, who's actually an agent, ends up trying to stop them. In the end, that leads to the eviction as a little print for Candace tries to show the mom and ends up having acting crazy and feel it has a format that I feel like it should be stale, but I, what I always love about Phase of Fur is they always manage to basically have different takes on it and manage to do it in a different way. Some of even go against the formula and they manage to deliver it so that's still consistently hilarious. I don't think it's all the episodes. I don't think it really has like a too bad episode. I like I don't think most of like honestly, a majority of shows I don't think really have any true bad or done episodes on this list. 
like even the West episode, I would say, is still good to solid. Like that's how good a lot of these shows are. And Fantasy Forever is no exception. Okay, yeah, likable characters, great animation, great supporting cast, crazy situations to get himself into, great voice acting, and also the music is definitely the best that they have done for it. Each episode always has a song that I just like a lot of these songs I still hum to this very day. A lot of these shows I uh, like, uh, I'm sorry, I might make like a top 10, top 20 fans for songs at some point because a lot of these songs are just incredible. And the fact that they made so many of them very catchy and very fun is incredible and impressive. And, and a lot of these songs are getting stuck in my head. Finally, also got some good two, good two movies as well. And for a guy that's actually going down, we're actually going to get like a reboot at some point. Which honestly, I'm actually very excited for actually. Is, um, I have faith that they're actually going to deliver what makes this show still so great. It was great, like, it's great to have a lot of this franchise has gone on, so it's a simple premise. But the fact that it makes so many crazy episodes and all that stuff, but it manages to deliver them. <laughs> like, I held them somewhere right now, but yeah. But anyways, now we're gonna get to my top two, and truthfully, in spite of that, there are so many amazing shows on this list, and a lot of the shows are up some of my favorites of all time, my top two were actually pretty definitive, actually. As I will put these shows in my, my top ten, not top five favorite shows of all time, period. I am dead serious. And again, it was definitely a debate which one I enjoyed more, honestly, as you could definitely have a debate by which one should be number one, honestly. And again, it's one of those cases where I, again, it's not one of those cases where I feel like my number two could be my number one, and my number could be number two, if you ask me what day it is. But that's how good these shows are. But, I decided, I have made my decision, and coming in number two, we have Gravity Falls. Which... Well, obviously, was my favorite for the longest time. I absolutely adore Gravity Falls. Like, if I only had two seasons, it managed to, uh, it managed to absolutely deliver. And despite the two seasons, the show is still prominent to this very day. People still talk about how great this show is. And I uh, remember Gravity at least like a book recently that explains certain things about the show afterwards and explains certain backstory stuff. I still need to look into that, but that just proves how people still love Gravity Falls. I right, found it ended a while ago, but people still adore the show, and for good reason. We got incredible characters, incredible, hilarious moments, crazy situations, and having an incredible mystery that's played throughout the majority of the show. And when it delivers, it's actually very satisfying. And it makes you rethink a lot of what happened before. And it's like, oh, oh, ah, oh, ooh, oh my god. I think afterwards, the show is still great. Again, some episodes done the greatest, honestly, like obviously the episode before the finale, the episode before the the penultimate episode was definitely not the greatest, but it's something I still can enjoy. Like, I still think it's a damn bad episode of Gravity Falls, despite having like 40 episodes. Again, the spring characters are great, the characters are great in general, you get some great hilarious moments, some great back and forth, some insane surprises. I just felt this felt so much heart, heart, it has some incredible lore to it. <clears throat> and and it sure that just goes straight all the all the times, but in the best possible way. It's it's sure I got back to constantly. And I still will always go back to constantly. Finally, have two seasons. That's how good it is. And again, it was my favorite show, the channel show, for the longest time. It's probably my top. These top two were my top two favorite channel shows, which is why I was there. I just split between sitcoms and animated shows. But now, my number one, the show that has. Dethroned Gravity Falls is Amphibia. Yes, Amphibia. Like, I, this is a show I have not stopped thinking about when I first watched it again. Again, similar to a lot of these kind of shows, it showed that one well, in the first season, it probably doesn't like, show that it doesn't like sting all that much. You still enjoy it because it's like with characters and the mystery and you're actually killing it, but the characters feel like they actually have grown for a majority of the show. And so, but uh, I think a lot of people, that's when season two, season two when they actually go for more story focused direction, that's when the show really hits its stride. That's when the show really hits. The show really hits, and it show Emma being all in every episode of what's going on next, and I'm excited what's going on next, what's going to happen. Like, like I remember the last time I was that invested in the show, and that's the anime that's going to do finale. Well, for some, I was, I was just like in shock, and my jaw dropped on the floor. It's like, Where's season three? Where's season three? Where's season three? Where's season three? Like, I don't remember the last time I was so, like, <clears throat> for a show. And while, yeah, season three does have its issues, I won't lie on that. I won't say it's, like, the perfect season. Most people, 
well in certain areas. It still managed to deliver some of the hugest emotional highs in any show. And again, you get the great characters that have grown so much. And, uh, and the messages they always love throughout the show about changing yourself and it's okay to it's okay to do this and that and and while change is scary sometimes you need so to grow the person because then well you maybe end up being distant from your friends at some point it doesn't mean that they don't uh, not there for you and not in your life like it hits a lot moments that i really needed at the time and that finale like we finally end up airing like, like a few weeks before i end up moving and it was, it was a message that i really needed so that's why I think that finale is probably my favorite finale in, in TV history. I might actually make a video on that at some point. I want to talk about why I showed my favorite finale of all time. And why the message just really hits so deep to my core. Not just from the finale, but the entire show in general. And and, it, <clears throat> and I always love the, also the, the moments of continuity in the show as well. The show as well, well, some moments that end up season one end up coming a huge thing later, and some. Well, Moments that also now can end up coming a big thing later, and just like, wow! And again, incredible supporting cast, great cast of characters. They just kind of adore and admire, so, and great villains in general. Can King Andrew has been? And I don't want to say too much. I'll call the because I want to come in surprising, honestly. But every bit of show that just, oh my god! Like, like it possibly might be the be my favorite show of all time, unless for because one of the show, but. Amphibia is a show that, honestly, a show that, while it may not stand out first, it's a show that the more it goes along and the more you see what happens later on the show, <gasps> the more it just hits for you. Which, I, which again, it's pretty much a similar positive activity every other show. While I may not see stand out at show first, once it goes along, once you figure out what goes on, and once you know what happens and this and that, and the more you get to know these characters, the more you just get so invested in what goes on. Which is why a lot did you know always love anime shows and well not every the show the hit like I know like I know Haley's on it and promos with shows I have not watched yet, I'm not the greatest, I probably should watch those shows and maybe see. And of course one of those shows and the anime show that make my worst list. <clears throat> it's one of this one when they hit, they absolutely hit. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed me discussing my top ten favorite Disney Channel animated shows, let me know what your opinion anime shows on the let me know any shows you think I missed on this list. And it's just straight from Disney Channel, shows that aired on Disney Channel and premiered on shows that were Disney Channel originals, just to give a heads up. But I still hope you guys enjoyed the list in general. Again, and again, did you our, did your top 10 worst Disney Channel shows list and the best sitcoms list, guys, want to check those out. And I plan on doing the same with Nickelodeon and Country Network, guys, want to check those out. So stay tuned for that coming very soon. I am similar world, similar objections. I will see you next time as always. Stay cool, everybody. Peace.